So the new patch 0.31 is about to drop. People keep telling me about the UI and how you can adjust it in game. The settings, which have changed considerably. So we'll just have a look. This is the new settings system. And this is the UI settings. These are the things you can change on the UI. So to make life easier, I'm pretty sure we can do it on the fly. So we'll return to the game, we'll take the cat TTB to the vehicle testing area. I know you can move the ingoing and outgoing damage icons. So we'll have a look at those over here. Now let's see what we can move or can't move. Identify target. We'll tab out of that. I'll we'll click on this. We can't move it. Can't. So I'm holding down. Okay, that's. Uh, so I hold down control. I can click to drag. So they show up as being able to click to drag. So I know they're actually playable outside of the settings. All right. So we'll go to escape and we'll go to settings. Go to UI. Let's have a look. So we'll go to the radical. Don't know what that says. This one is for the new vehicle that has the automatic auto aim lead lock. That's what this represents, and that's what I think it represents in here. Cursor. Cursor is off. Size. It's off. Let's turn the minimap cursor on. Let's apply. Identify target. Awesome, tank. Okay, so when I turn that on, it comes up under control. So if I hit control, that brings the minimap into the middle of my screen. Yeah, no, I'm not a fan of that. Nope. Oh, the minimap cursor is definitely staying off. Yeah, and that's the, obviously the size is also the visibility. Apply. Vehicle marker, tag and designation linear. Popcorn batched. Well, let's try popcorn. Okay, apply. Escape, escape, escape. I don't see any change in that Identified. as a popcorn oh, marker. I don't see any change in that one as a popcorn marker. Okay, it might be that angle because I think mine is linear, goes straight up. Settings. UI. So that might be the popcorn marker. Okay. Let's go batched. Apply. Let's shoot it again. Ah, so yes, that's it. It appears above it. Righto. So that's the only thing that changes there. I've got to wait for the reload. One's up. Target. And if I shoot it again, it will add to that. So that was 804. Waiting. Yep, so it did that. Okay. Eh, that's just a novelty. I wonder why I saw that in some time, some people's games with those. One where it goes out and up and out and up and out and up and out and up. And up. No, it's just friggin' stupid popcorn. Uh, whatever it rocks your boat. I prefer linear, which where it goes straight up. If I shoot him again, it'll go straight up. It's just slowly going straight up. So I'm happy with that. I'd rather do that. Um, so, yeah. In match. Okay. Minimap. Vehicle status. Combat panel. Combat panel, I think I want on. Match notification. Connecting and pin. Combat chat. Radical. On. So I turn it off. And then the minimap. Well, I want the minimap on. The combat log. Okay, I'm not worried about that. Commendation size. Well, I always like them to be small because I hate them. Commendation box on. I'd like to hate the notification sound, so I turn them off. In match. So I've got incoming damage. I can change the radical. Oh, okay. I can. Um, I don't um, I don't see anything there that I can change. Okay, let's go back. Cancel, let's apply changes. Let's go back. Um, graphics, let's see. 
there's nothing in graphics. Let's look at advanced graphics, texty shadows. Oh, nope. Okay, let's go back. Gameplay. General in match. Camera shaking. Camera binding. No, no. no. And hit feed duration. Okay, that's the limit of that. Reverse. Turn inversion. Tracked vehicle off. Yeah, okay. Let's look at that in match. Um, skip intro off. Well, we turn it on. Doesn't really matter. Matter. In match. Yeah, that's fine. Camera bomb. Uh, friendly fire. In reverse. No, I'm not worried about that. To apply the change I made, go back. Graphics. I like that the way it is. And then advanced rendering textures. Basic. Okay. We'll go back. Social. Well, that won't have anything to do with that. Um, so they, they say that you can adjust it. Um, unless they're going to turn things on very shortly because it comes up tomorrow, I can't see anything there that will change the layout of that. Sound won't do it. Controls. Let's have a look. Toolbar, repair, chat, overlays. Let's have a look at overlays. Results. Radial command menu. Interface, F2. Increase minimap size equals minus. I knew that. Then I don't want to change my controls. Okay. So we're already looking at replays and there's nothing in the mouse. So there's um, movement. Might be in movement, actions, smoke. And that's the keys. And I don't want to change my key bindings. So that doesn't actually change that. Okay. Let's go back. So we already looked at controls. We looked at gameplay. We looked at graphics. Go back to UI. So all I can do is the vehicle status on or off. Let's turn vehicle status off and apply. Let's go back, back, return to game. Vehicle status. Well, yep, there you go. That changes that. Turns that off. Well, that's disappointing because um, you know, I still have most of what's there, but I think that's better from a hit point perspective because it actually shows me what's damaged. Apart from this here, no, I think I'd want that back on. So we'll go back to settings, we'll go back to UI, and we'll turn it back on. Apply, because that's kind of silly. The combat panel, we'll turn that off. Display the panel with ammo and consumables and abilities. Apply. Oh, okay. Now I get it. This is all gone. Yeah, no, I'm not sure I want to get rid of that. That's um, not a good setting. Why? So we'll turn it back on. Match notifications. Eh, not really worried about that. Connection and ping. I know where that is. Combat chat. I know where that is. Combat log. Don't want to turn that off. Allied team list. Don't want to team that. The score. I don't want to turn that off. Incoming and outgoing damage. Don't want to turn them off. Objectives. I don't want to turn them off. Commendation visibility. Okay. UI. Combat log, killed by enemy, well that shows me who killed me, killed by ally, that shows me who killed me, other notifications on, commendations, there's nothing in here that shows or changes anything in here, so no, nothing to change any of this, you can't move these, you can't move that, shrink it, turn it into something else, you can turn them off, you can turn that off, you can you can't um, do any of that. You can't change the size of this. And you can't paint the position of that. You can click to drag because I'm holding down control, which means I can drag it. Uh, but nothing here can you change. You can just get rid of stuff, not change it. So uh, it is not um, modifiable in any way, shape, or means. 
Now, unless they're putting something in with the update, which is coming extraordinarily soon, like today, unless they're adding something into this update, then I'm confused as to where these modifiable parts are. Everyone keeps telling me you can modify the UI. But as you've seen, it hasn't been tested in this PTS. It's not available for view. We'll just have to wait and see.